So if you somehow weren't aware, uh, Tommy Laren is a massive dunce. Now again, I really don't know how you wouldn't be aware of that, but um, <laughs> here's another case of this. This one is really is really ridiculous to me though because it just like reminded me, and it was a brutal reminder that Tommy Laren knows nothing, especially about the history of the United States, and this is really hilarious. So John Leguizamo tweeted out a tweet saying, Reagan loved immigrants. What happened to the Republicans? How did they lose their way? Um, and Tommy Lairn responded to this because, of course, her issue is all about immigration. And she said, legal immigrants and illegals are very different. Respect the country enough to do it the right way and this country will love you back. Simple. And so... This is hilariously stupid, and I'll tell you exactly why. She doesn't know about Reagan and what he did in terms of immigrants. And the thing is about this is, even if you're somebody who's, you know, like a Reagan supporter, you should know about this because this is something that's constantly brought up by liberals who talk about Reagan and explain how there were certain aspects of his presidency that really weren't all that conservative. So this is one of them among him you know, blowing up the deficits, like, you know, uh, Rand Paul has explained his deficits were higher than Jimmy Carter, and he was spending a bunch of money, and, uh, you know, he was for gun control, that was something that was really, you know, opposite of what, you know, especially currently is of the Republican Party, but the other big point is that he granted amnesty to about two to three million uh, undocumented immigrants in the United States and the word that they like to use is illegal so we're talking about Ronald Reagan signed into law the Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986 and um, here I'll just read you like a little quick explainer it says it legalized undocumented immigrants who entered the United States before January 1st 1982 and had resided there continuously with the penalty of a fine back taxes due and admission of guilt Candidates were required to prove that they were not guilty of crimes, that they were in the country before January 1st, 1982, and that they possessed at least a minimal knowledge about U.S. history, government, and the English language. At the time, the Immigration and Natural Naturalization Service, which is the INS, estimated that about 4 million illegal immigrants would apply for legal status through the act and that roughly half of them would be eligible. So you're looking at, you know, anywhere between 2 to 3 million immigrants were granted amnesty, meaning... People who were in the United States illegally, they entered the United States illegally before January 1st, 1982. They were legalized. So the point that John Leguizamo is trying to make is, look at what he did in terms of immigrants. You know, what happened to that? And Tommy Lahren's response is entirely void of any historical understanding of Reagan and what he did on immigration. I don't even think she knows about Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986. I don't think she knows about, and that this speaks for itself, so we know she doesn't know, that he literally granted millions, or two to three million uh, illegal immigrants, uh, you know, legalization, and granted them amnesty, and she doesn't even know that. What's also disappointing is the replies to this tweet are a bunch of people basically saying seeking asylum isn't illegal. But that's not even the proper response here. The proper response is doofus. Ronald Reagan granted 2 to 3 million illegal immigrants amnesty, therefore legalizing them into, you know, the United States. It was a law passed by Congress that he signed into law, which means he agreed with it. And holy smoke, she is stupid, dude. You think she actually knows about this? And that's why it's important to, you know, obviously know stuff like that. Because this is some very basic shit. But I was pretty pretty taken aback by this. Because anybody who's a Reagan critic usually brings this up to, you know, shit on conservatives. And it's really remarkable that she doesn't even know that.